Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing good. In today's video we'll be seeing how to do this beautiful mandala on wooden wall plates. I got this plate from Shunya website and I'll provide the link in the description box below. As a start, I just painted the plate in black color and traced on to paper and folded it across and cut in the corners. And then once the paper was opened up, we were able to find the corners and the center. This way I just started to draw the lines that is the grid lines using watercolor pencils and this was the first dot since this particular plate had quite a texture even though it is smooth uh, I found it a bit harder to place the center dot so what I did was I just mixed the paint with retarder this way it, got, it gave me good consistency kind of thick dots most of the paints which I had used is fevical band which is kind of watery so I had to mix each and every paints with uh, retarder so as a start once I placed the center dot I just started using white color dots and I'm just gradually increasing the dot size so I'm just blending into blue color the circles which I have drawn for guidelines are about 1 cm apart but the first circle is around 2 cm from the center point. So I am trying to accommodate these blue color dots within the first 2 cm radius. Since I am using acrylic retarder, I just wanted to try how 3D dots turn up. Uh, so I packed a lot of paint in each and every dot here especially on the blue ones and once dried I just found it to be uh, raised a bit and I like the touch of it actually so yeah three dots turned out good now what I'm doing is I'm just lining the blue dots with tiny dots and just connecting with the other dots with a single line in this project I have done a lot of uh, swishes so this is one of the medium size swishes I would say so since the space was very less I have to use my <laughs> quilling needle or else the swishes won't be sharp so that is what I am doing right now I got this drive to paint mandala plate just because one of my ex colleagues shared a picture from their vacation uh, showcasing an intricate mandala plate so I just wanted to give it a go and yeah before starting this work I was just crawling through Leona's work and I got inspired so I just wanted to do very intricate work and that was the reason why my dots are very tiny and close by and yeah that is how this work started now this was this orange color or the vermilion color from Favicrol is my recent favorite I would say I like it actually with the combination of blue so this is one of the tiny uh, swishes whatever I am making in pink color from itsy bitsy uh, chalk paint or I would say it was a pouring paint and then I am just drawing the star kind of shapes so the star lands on 4 cm and the small tiny star uh, figure lands on the 3 cm once the star shape is done, I am just trying to fill the gap with the teardrop shape. I packed with a lot of colors so that it will give a 3D effect. So yes, and then what I did without recording was I just filled the star shape, the inside of the star shape with ti tiny dots of blue color. So just that the spaces are getting filled up. And next was I wanted to try very intricate swishes but in a different way so I just covered the teardrops with an intricate uh, swishes so this swish uh, was inspired by summer uh, she used to do a lot of intricate patterns with uh, cones so I didn't have a cone and I didn't make a cone so I just wanted to try with the dotting tool so the swishes is just landing in halfway through five centimeter circle so this uh, quilling needle actually helped to reach the uh, tiny gaps between the star shape and this came out pretty good. Now on the 5th cm circle I am just placing dots so on either side of the markings the center will have 4 dots so this way the dots are equally placed and the consecutive dots in the next row will be good and it will be equal 
so on the spaces within the first circle or uh, within the main circle i'm just filling it with vermilion and i'm just surrounding it with white color dots since there was better gap i just started to place tiny yellow color dots between each of the dot so this way it was kind of packed up and yeah and then i did another round of pink color dots so here what i'm doing is i'm just placing yellow color dots see as i told if we equally partition it then it is uh, easy for us to identify the center so this way uh, i don't have to draw a lot of grid lines now i'm doing the same like on the sixth uh, centimeter circle i just place the big vermilion dot and i'm just placing two more smaller dots so here i'll be doing the petal shape with the blue color i chose the teal color from uh, fevicryl so the reason why i kept two dots on top of the vermilion uh, on top of the vermilion bigger dot was i just wanted an elongated petal not um, more uh, pet uh, not a petal which has more depth i just wanted an elongated petal i don't want a plumpy petal so that was the reason i just placed two more dots on top and i just started with it The next step is to draw swishes. I just wanted the swishes to be halfway through, so I just measured 0.5 from the vermilion bigger dot, and then I started to do the swishes. So, as part of this particular uh, uh, pattern, I will do two swishes in the bottom. Since the space was very tiny, I just filled the space with the yellow color uh, diamond shape, and that this actually fit very well in this particular pattern. As you see next what I am doing is I am just doing a curve shape here. I tried to do it with brush but I was not very successful with the shape. So what I did was I, as you see I just placed two dots on either side and I just dragged it through with my quilling needle and also the dotting tool. This way the shape was perfect. So before doing that I just drew over with my uh, watercolor um, pencil and then on top of it I just made this uh, swishes in this row of uh, using pink I didn't mix it with white I just used the the same color uh, whatever it was in the bottle and I just completed it now in between the gaps of those curves I'm just filling it with yellow color dots and I will be repeating the same pattern what I did in the previous row so here too the petals will be elongated since I am placing two more dots on top of the center dot of the pattern.
since I don't find much space here like the previous row pattern I'll be filling it with only one pair of uh, swishes on the bottom and uh, two pair of swishes on top so that way this particular petal will be covered And here too again I am doing the same uh, triangle like structure and I will be filling this structure with uh, white and blue color dots. When I started this particular uh, mandala plate, I just thought I have to have blue color as a dominant color but then uh, pink color took dominance more than the blue one. So here wherever white I can incorporate, I am just trying to do it. So on the curves, I just did tiny bits of white color below the triangle structure and I repeated the same thing on the previous pattern. So this now what you are seeing is I will be doing a plumpy kind of dots why because I didn't place two dots on top of the bigger dot this way the petals will be plumpier so I used another uh, color of uh, itsy bitsy so I will provide in the description box below I didn't use the tea color from fevicryl so there is slight variation in this particular blue color so this was the blue which I used uh, in the swishes around the teardrop so I just wanted to give alternate color options here To have a closure to this design, I am just completing it with yellow color uh, swishes, kind of a pointy one um, and I just try to do it with the same dotting tools and just make it pointer, pointy uh, using my quilling needle. So it came out pretty good and the last row of uh, plumpy blue dots will also be having one pair of swishes. So since this is a plate, uh, I didn't want to go ahead build lot of petals. I just wanted to give a gap between the rim and the main design. So for the rim, I just started using uh, the pink color. So here the color will be gradient from dark to light pink. So that is how uh, I am just placing it right now. So on the rim, there are two rows of uh, pink and on the bottom, I am placing a tiny dot of pink and then there will be two more rows. So in an alternate way, I just try to do it. So that way there will be kind of a closure or uh, it will come as a complete work. Now, if you see on the fourth row, I just placed Below the fourth row, I just placed a tiny white dot, just calculating alternate dots. So I just wanted to place the uh, vermilion color alternate, just give one uh, dot gap and then the next one. So here too, I will be doing a very tiny petal and I'll incorporate with an uh, vermilion, vermilion color's wishes. I 
I'm placing uh, tiny dots of blue color uh, like this petal will have two rows of blue color dots and since the space is very much small uh, we have to manage it somehow and between those petals I am just using the vermilion color to do species and don't mind if it lands on your petal it will not be much noticeable so my most favorite part of this design was this particular um, rim design it actually gave a closure and completion to this particular pattern I just loved it This is the last uh, step in this whole mandala pattern. I am just doing swishes on either side of the plumpy petals. Once these uh, swishes are done, I just let this whole plate dry for more than a day. Reason being, we have used acrylic retarder in all the colors. Without acrylic retarder, the paint will get dried within few hours. Since acrylic retarder uh, makes your paint to last for a long time, it won't dry up very quickly. So you have to let it wait for more than a day and then do a coat of varnish. So here uh, for this uh, plate I used Bresto gloss varnish in spray uh, bottle. So it was easy for me to spray paint a spray varnish on whole plate and uh, I let it uh, wait for uh, more than a day and then checked on it. The gloss finish was so perfect and I just loved how it turned out. So now I'm showing how the gloss finish is reflecting while I'm recording so you could see it and when I touched the center portion I was able to feel the 3D or the raised dots. So hope you liked this tutorial and this was also a favorite work of mine. So if you like my work please consider subscribing and like and share and comment here on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.